Hey everyone, it's me again. If you don't know, I'm Chekhov, and I write and draw the Steven Universe fan comic, Ask White Pearl and Steven, which is an AU of the original show wherein Steven is the son of White Diamond. If you haven't read it, maybe do that before watching this video, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But this video will contain spoilers for both the fan comic and the original show, so if you care about that, this video is not right for you yet. Not right for you yet. There is still a chance to fix that. Pause it right now, go watch the entirety of Steven Universe, and then read my comic and come back and let's talk. Okay? Okay. Today we're going to be doing another speed draw video where I answer some more of your asks. This time I'm drawing the 2024 New Year's illustration and season 5 of the comic has probably just begun. So we're going to be going through some asks that verge on spoilers and have to do with the future of the story. Uh, can't promise that I'll get to all of them, but let's see how many we can knock out. Let's start off with an easy one. Will we have another sea glass bomb? Oh, I hope so. If you don't know what a sea glass bomb is, it's a version of the Steven bomb like event that the original show did, where they premiered a new Steven Universe episode every day for a week straight, a la Summer of Steven or the others. For my comic, I do something similar, where I have previously done shorter comics, publishing daily for a week, and the first one was a Steven bomb, but the second one was an everyone else bomb, wherein Seaglass stole Steven's phone and allowed the other characters to answer some questions. So I really love doing the shorter episodes in the middle of the longer ones, and yes, I really want to go back and do another Seaglass bomb, or Steven bomb, or something to that effect. I don't know where exactly it'll happen, but when it does happen, you will know. Will Jasper become a crystal gem in the future? Or will she remain with the homeworld gems as she always had? Uh, it's interesting that these are the only two choices that you seem to be giving me. Crystal gem or homeworld, that is. Nothing in between. I guess I can understand where the dichotomy comes from, but I don't personally agree with it. In Jasper's case, it's particularly interesting because even in the original series, she was never really taken from one side to the other, at least not fully. Homeworld changed their rules while she was still technically siding with them, and she didn't change. She still had her own convictions that aligned much more with Era 1 and 2 Homeworld standards. Anyway, I don't think I can answer this question without spoilers, but I will say that this refusal to change is a huge part of Jasper's overall character. I don't think it would be easy to convince an audience, the same audience that watched Jasper be shattered and still remain loyal to what she perceived to be her diamond, that she could just suddenly turn around and love the Earth. Neither do I think that being loyal to a diamond that loves the Earth counts as being a true crystal gem. Anyway, my point is, I can't answer this without spoiling anything, but if it does happen, it's going to take a long time and it'll still be really complicated. I hope this is okay to ask because I've been dying to know. Will Pearl get her own arc in the comic? Or, not being too specific, will she and Rose? Good question. Yes. I can answer this, it's not a spoiler. Yes, she will. She and Rose and their relationship has not had many opportunities to evolve as of yet. At the moment, Rose is still dating Greg in the story, and Pearl is still tolerating it, because as we know, she is... Fine. With the men who would come into her life now and again. Well, things are changing. Without the catalyst of Rose's death, it'll be messier and more complex to untangle the vines that tie those two together. And I am really excited to get into it. There will be other things that happen to drive the main change, and it'll take me a bit to ramp it up, but we are getting there, I promise. We're, we're getting there. Will S, the mystery girl with pink hair and green eyes, appear? 
Well, I really love Last One Out of Beach City, the episode that features Mystery Girl. I don't think there will be a simple way to insert her into the narrative, if I'm being completely honest. Especially in regards to the previous ask. This AU is a very different story from the original Steven Universe. And while the ingredients may seem similar, we are frying, not baking, so to speak. My point is, some characters, including Mystery Girl, only kind of work within the canon narrative. The mysterious S was there to throw Pearl something she would clearly be interested in, without Rose being immediately present. If Rose is present and alive, Pearl would simply not give a fuck. Can I say that on YouTube? Well, do late right now. Will the gems find out about Pink, or will that stay hidden forever? I, I think this would be really quite trolly of me if I did that to you guys. If I took one of the biggest reveals, one of the most impactful plot turns in the original show, and just never addressed it, that would sure be something. Uh, it would be really funny, is what it would be. Just thinking about it makes me wonder if I should try to pull that off. No one questions anything. Everything goes down and it just never gets addressed. <laughs> Hilarious as that would be, no, I can't do it. I have planned to address that issue from the beginning, and I think it's been since season 2 that people have come to the comments of every episode that foreshadowed it and said, it's about to happen, it'll get revealed, it's gonna happen soon, I have a feeling we're gonna see that, you know, Pink Diamond is... And now we're on season five and I still haven't done it. So I guess maybe people are slowing down and looking back at me like I threw a ball and it disappeared. Like, <laughs> did I throw the ball? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, I did. I did throw it, and it will happen. It's in the plans. Just gotta wait a little longer. And here we have a little bit of a longer one. Uh, I really like that Connie is being trained by Garnet this time. Garnet seems like a much better teacher, as Pearl projected a lot onto Connie, to the point where it got dangerous, and it always kind of rubbed me the wrong way that Pearl never got called out for this. But Garnet seems like she would be able to teach Connie to fight in a healthy way. What led you to having Garnet be her mentor? So to start with, I feel like Garnet has a lot of potential in her interactions with Connie. She's an incredibly fascinating character with an interesting internal worldview, though I don't know if I can quantify it as simply being a better teacher. We know she makes mistakes sometimes. There are things that Pearl excels in as a teacher, especially after she calms down and stops projecting her own feelings onto Connie as a knight, as you mentioned. Um, and part of the reason I chose Garnet for this role is because her problems with teaching will be completely different than the ones Pearl had. The bottom line is, I think there's new avenues to be explored between Garden and Connie that would make for fun storylines. I will disagree with this, though. The fact that Pearl never got called out for it. Pearl very much did get called out for her behavior. The whole second part of the episode was about Steven realizing what was happening and going to the arena to confront first Connie and then Pearl. He told her that what she was doing was wrong and that they both wanted to fight as a team. Pearl didn't fall to the ground sobbing and begging for forgiveness, it's true, but a callout very much did happen, and Pearl did realize that what she was doing was wrong. I think maybe there's this idea recently that narrative storylines should always follow therapy standards when it comes to scripting, but it's an unrealistic expectation in my opinion. Pearl didn't explicitly apologize with her words, but she did apologize with her actions. She embraces both Stephen and Connie and acknowledges that they will both make great knights. And while verbal apologies are important, sometimes actions speak louder than words, and a promise to change your behavior can feel one hell of a lot more solid and realistic than just a rehearsed apology full of key words.
But that's not the point of this ask. The point is, Garnet will make a great teacher with other problems that they'll have to overcome, which is exactly what makes her a great narrative candidate for this role. And I think with that, we're just about done here. Thanks as always for joining me in this video. If you have questions you'd like to ask, you can either send it to me on Tumblr or post it directly in the YouTube comments down below. If you want to read the comic in full, please head down to the link in the description. And although I don't really care if you like and subscribe, I do ask that you make sure to say something nice to at least one stranger today. Cheers! If you have questions you'd like to ask, you can either send it uh, by Tumblr or post it directly to the YouTube 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 YouTube. Thanks for always. Uh,